Welcome to Test Project Demonstration Video. Test Project is a framework designed for automated testing. In this video, we will demonstrate how to record web tests. To start working, let's set up Test Project Agent on your computer. The agent includes the latest SDKs and components you need to create and run your test automation. Let's go to the Agents tab and click on Download. Test Project recognizes your current operating system. The agent can run on any major operating system and you can manually select the one you need. Once the download is complete, start the installation wizard. Please wait until the installation is complete. It might take a few minutes. We're almost done. Just make sure that your test project agent is running on your computer by searching for the test project agent icon in your system tray. Now you will have to register the test project agent with your account. Press on the register button and provide an agent name. Click on save. Next, click on register to finalize the process. You will now see that a new tab pops up. Follow the instructions on the new tab to complete the agent registration. Once the registration is complete, you can close the tab or wait for it to close automatically. In the main screen, you can see your agent up and running. The icon color indicates the agent status. Green, ready for recording. Orange, busy. Gray, disconnected. The first thing you need to do is create a new project. A project is a collaborative space that focuses on a specific product or release you might have. You can invite specific team members and grant relevant permissions based on projects. To start, press on the New Test button. Select the desired test type. This video will focus on web test recording, so let's select Web. Give the test a name and description and press Next. Select your web application. You can choose one that you previously created or create a new one. We will use Wikipedia as an example. Now you have two options. Record, which is a live recording of your test, or Design, which enables you to design a test and create UI elements without the actual website. In this video, we're showing you how to record your test. Select Record. A new Chrome window will open on your screen. On the first use, you will be notified that you're missing the Test Project extension, a Chrome component that allows you to record web applications. Click Install and add the extension. In this test scenario, we are recording a test that will search Wikipedia for different keyword values. Select the search box and type the desired value. Test Automation. A step will be recorded. Click the Search button or choose the Action Click from the Spy menu. Let's replay the test. Let's go to the actual step that types the text and create a parameter. In our case, search value with a default key Test Automation. We need to make this parameter accessible from outside the test. Select Input Output and choose the parameter you created. Before going on to the next steps, let's do a quick review of the characteristics of the test steps. Each step can be clicked to reveal additional information on it. The step's name, Comments to clarify the step. The step type. For example, this is an element-based step. Element locator, ID, XPath, etc. Step failure actions. Continue, stop, run another test. Capture screen. Step timeout and pause. Repeat a step in case required. On the bottom, more operations are available. Duplicate, disable, delete. 
Now let's run the test with an external data source. Download a CSV template for the test created. Open the CSV file and enter the following values. Test automation, apple, and chocolate. Go to Data Files and click New Data Source to upload the CSV file. Now we should create a new job. A job allows you to run several tests on different browsers with external data source. Provide a job name, select the type and the desired agent. Select a set of desired browsers. You can schedule the job run at any time or on demand. Drag and drop into the job the desired test to run it as part of the job. Now attach the data source you created earlier. Now you can run the job on selected browsers with data source supplied. To see the job results, press on Reports. Select the relevant project and desire job execution. On the right panel, you can see the different test iterations with values supplied via data source. Congratulations! You created your first web test. We are now ready to record any web test you want.